Despite repeatedly promising to halt oil drilling on public lands, today we learned from the Biden administration that he will allow, he has officially approved ConocoPhillips Willow Project, which is a massive oil drilling operation in Alaska's largely untouched North Slope. This is going to be incredibly damaging to the wildlife in the area, to the climate that is rapidly warming on the planet. But let's give you the details on what's happening here. Now, before we get to the disastrous impacts this could have on the global climate and why it undermines America's efforts to move away from fossil fuels, let's talk about this drilling project in particular. The drilling project would take place inside a petroleum reserve, which is located about 200 miles north of the Arctic Circle. The reserve, which has no roads, is the country's largest single expanse of pristine public land. Public land meaning it belongs to us. But ConocoPhillips will now be able to drill on that land. Now, the administration agreed to let the oil company build three pads in the National Petroleum Reserve, Alaska, according to a federal record of decision posted Monday. The decision shrinks the project from the five pads that ConocoPhillips originally proposed, but allows the company officials, allows what company officials have described as a site large enough for them to move forward. The decision, by the way, will also enable the construction of hundreds of miles of roads and pipelines, airstrips, a gravel mine, and a large processing facility on near pristine tundra and wetlands in the reserve. I have a lot more details to get to. But before we get to those details, before we get to Jenk, I think it's really important to hear from campaign Biden, because he's real different from President Biden. Let's go to the video. Number one. No more subsidies for fossil fuel industry. No more drilling on federal lands. No more drilling, including offshore. No ability for the oil industry to continue to drill, period. Ends, number one. Yeah, that turned out the same way his promise to make Mohammed bin Salman of Saudi Arabia a pariah. Uh, he actually ended up doing the exact opposite of that. But anyway, Cenk, thoughts? Yeah. So I'm gonna get back to something uh, where I'm a little conservative on this issue. So that'll be an interesting twist. But first, look, I can solve all politics for you. So don't listen to anybody in mainstream media who tells you a bunch of garbage about these debates, right? It's always the money. They always just do whatever, wherever the money is, that's what they do. So by the way, Biden did the right thing when he came to Silicon Valley Bank, but that was also where the money was, okay? Here in this case, he's doing the wrong thing because that's where the money is. Mm -hmm. And so when we called him out and said we don't believe some of these things that he's saying, his track record does not prove that, it proves the opposite. I remember mainstream media saying, "Oh, that's outrageous! How can you say that? What do you mean? They always lie, and that was an obvious lie. And guess who was right and who was wrong? We were right again for the billionth time in a row. Of course, he's. And what's the other thing we tell you? Every politician runs progressive right before elections, so he's trying to beat Bernie. He's trying to get your vote, so he sounds like, "Oh, I will stop all the drilling! Right? I'll give me your votes." And then as soon as they get into office, they're like, what did my donors want again? Yep, and I'm gonna do that. Classic case of it right here. Now, ConocoPhillips has indicated that it will begin construction immediately, specifically construction on a gravel road. They estimate that Willow, this Willow project will operate for the next 30 years. Hmm. Now, the Interior Department's Bureau of Land Management estimated in their environmental review that Willow would generate roughly 9.2 million metric tons of carbon dioxide a year. Oh, goody. Which is equal to driving nearly 2 million gas powered cars or burning nearly 51,000 rail cars worth of coal. Do you guys understand why ordinary Americans get so up in arms over? Demands that they buy new appliances, demands that they buy new cars, demands that they use paper straws, demands that they stop using plastic bags. It's all about personal responsibility when it comes to tackling the climate emergency. And behind the scenes, you got Democrats like Biden sanctioning a massive oil drilling project on pristine public lands. That's what's happening. And guess what's gonna happen? As with every other environmental disaster, they privatize the gains and they'll socialize the losses because we're all gonna pay for climate change, all of us. Yeah, so um, let me tell you the conservative part, but listen to the whole uh, 
idea before you jump in, okay? So look, uh, if in, in this case, they're gonna get uh, a lot of royalties and a lot of taxes. So of course, Conoco's make, gonna make a ton of profits, right? And they're gonna funnel some of that to the politicians. That's the real reason they're doing it. But yeah, the taxpayers of Alaska and America will get a little bit more because of those royalties and taxes. And that's a pretty good thing. Some jobs will be created, a couple thousand when they're building it, only 300 when they're maintaining it. So it's not that big a deal. But those are significant overall, right, as a concept. If it was just that versus the caribou, this is where I'm gonna piss off some of you. I'd say, Come on, well, Jay. I gotta do a balancing act here. Come I don't on. know, I'm gonna, by the way, I would hear you out. How much does it hurt the caribou? I don't know, right? I literally don't know, so I would invite the activists in, and I would invite the businessmen in, and I'd have a conversation about it. So would I do this in this case? No, why? Because this isn't about the caribou. Climate change is 100% real, and they're actively making it worse, and we're all gonna pay the cost. You're not gonna get the money from Conoco. Conoco is gonna make billions in profits. You think they're gonna share it with us? Hell no. No, the next time a flood, uh, takes out your house or a fire does or a drought co causes all these problems. You're gonna have to deal with all those costs. We're all gonna have to pay it together. And then when the planet burns down and creates trillions of dollars in costs, all these guys are gonna be long gone, okay? Yeah, uh, yeah listen, um, I'll take the caribou over 300 jobs. I hear what you're saying. I don't know why you even wanted to make that point when at the end of the day, you're against the project, right? Because you are. No, because I, because I believe in a balancing of interests and I believe that, that sometimes you don't get everything you want, right? We all wanna protect the animals, we all wanna protect natural areas, but there might be countervailing forces, right? But in this case, my point is, it's not close. We're not talking about, and maybe you think just the caribou is good enough and God bless your heart, you're probably a better person than I am, right? But this isn't about the freaking caribou. This is about climate change that is destroying the whole planet. We don't have a backup planet, okay? This is greed defined. The project could enable the production of more than 600 million barrels of crude oil over 30 years. If all of that oil is burned, roughly 280 million metric tons of heat trapping carbon dioxide emissions will be spewed into the atmosphere at a time when United Nations Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez warns that the planet is reaching a point of no return. You know, the fact that this drilling project is gonna take place in Alaska forces me to think about something I experienced and saw with my own eyes, and that's the Mendenhall Glacier, which has receded and melted so rapidly that when I was in Alaska, surrounded in, on this tour, surrounded by Republican voters, they were like, no, nah, climate change is real and we need to do something about it. So there are plenty of ordinary Republican voters out there who see the greed, who see what's being done to our environment. People of all political ideologies love public lands and they wanna protect public lands. The problem is we don't have a government that is representing our best interests. We have a government that represents their donors, something that Jenks says all the time, something we cover on the show all the time. So when it comes to doing right by your voters and fulfilling your campaign promises, well, that seems like less of a priority when there's money involved from fossil fuel companies like ConocoPhillips. Yeah, no, uh, when Green New Deal was first introduced, it polled at 80%, including a very solid majority of Republicans. And about two thirds of Republicans believe in climate change and in that it is man-made. So it makes it seem like if you watch the media, it seems like all Republicans don't agree. No, actually the majority of Republicans agree, but the people in power don't agree. So they make it seem like we're all fighting one another and that, well, golly gee, the Republicans really, the voters wanted the federal lands to be destroyed at, for the profit of uh, uh, one company. No, you guys didn't want that either if you're a right winger. And it's, but of course, the rich and the powerful always get our way, get their way in this so-called democracy. Wasn't the Secretary of the Interior supposed to be like a badass environmentalist who would? Deb Holland. Yeah. Deb Holland was so, supposed to be like the, the tough, tough woman who stands in the way of these types of projects. What okay. happened? You want to hear the amazing I fact do. about that? I do. So Deb Holland is the most progressive member of the cabinet, and I remember talking about that just a couple of days ago and saying, I'm curious what she's going to do in cases like this. The issue, this order was issued from the Interior Department without her signature. Oof.
without the secretary's signature? Yeah. Is that even allowed? Her, the undersecretary uh, signed it, he's from Alaska. So either they were like, we don't give a damn, you were just the token here. You know, no, oh, the first Native wow. American, wow. The first, uh, progressive in the cabinet. Ah, yeah, 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 but we want the goddamn oil project, so get the hell out of the way. Or she was like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll play ball, but it'll be inconvenient for me if I sign it. So later I'll pretend that I was against it. I don't know which of those is true, Deb Holland, it's on you to clarify. But so this was something she said she definitely wouldn't do. This is the reason they said, don't worry about establishment Democrats, they'll put progressives in their cabinet. <laughs> this is the only one, and look at what happened here. It's all a trick, it's all theater. Follow the money, that's the only rule in politics. Well, the excuse that we're hearing from the Biden administration for approving this is that they were afraid that they'd have to deal with legal battles if they hadn't approved it. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, nonsense, Yeah, total horse crap. Um, <laughs> so it's not that they wouldn't get legal battles, they would. Right. Oh, golly gee, the government got sued. Yeah, that's Tuesday, the government gets sued all, all the, the time. time. You could find a thousand ways to fight back against that. Instead, they're, and by the way, you think they're not going to get sued as part of this package? They're like, oh well, on some of the places they will not be able to drill. I, I bet you the companies sue them anyway, and they probably win on that. And that gets it's all theater. Mainstream media is lying to you. There is no ideological debates in America. There's only cold hard cash. They all get bribed and they all do as they're told. Look, one more thing. And this is kind of a weird point to make in this case. But you know, there's the government put out those tapes of the aliens, the unidentified flying objects, and they're amazing and they look crazy. And and even Obama's like, yeah, they came, whoever they were, right? Like it's kind of amazing that they admit it. My guess is they look down and they report it back to headquarters in their own planet. They're like, no, just a bunch of apes burning down their own planet. And then they ask, headquarters ask, why? Why are they doing it? So that only a couple of them could be really rich, live like really good lives. Only a couple of them, and the other eight billion are probably gonna die at some point. They have to think, not intelligent life on that planet, not worth going down, go to the next one. Because that's literally what we're doing. So that a couple of hundred super rich guys can get richer, we're burning down the entire planet. And the media is looking along and going, oh no, no, it makes sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't tell. 50-50, everything's 50-50. Biden, not, oh, he's a Democrat, how could you call him a liar? Only Trump's a liar, no, Trump is a liar, and so is Joe Biden. He's a flat out liar, be honest about who he is. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges, you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.